Hey students, welcome to EE Awesome. I'm Rudy Schlaf, a professor at the Electrical Engineering Department at USF. In this video I want to show you how to use a multimeter to do a voltage measurement. Let's do it! Here's the multimeter, so today I want to discuss what we can measure with it and uh, I want to show you how to do a voltage measurement. The other measurement types I will discuss in separate videos. So let's have a look. Here we have the measurement ranges, there is the voltage range and this is for DC, then over here is one for AC, here's a range for measuring small currents, a range for measuring big currents, then here we can measure uh, resistance, we can characterize uh, transistors, right? we can set that to here, we can measure frequencies even and we also can use it as a continuity tester that gives us an audible signal whenever there is a small resistance. I also opened it up for you so we can have a peek inside. There is a fuse that's important for the current measurements. I will discuss that in the video about current measurements. So you see already that when you measure current then well the instrument needs to be protected. So it's a little bit different from measuring voltages where except if we exceed a certain high voltage that I think is about a thousand volts here not much will happen to this instrument. Um, then uh, we have the battery down here. This is used to not only power the electronics and the LCD display but this is also used for all these active measurements uh, that allow us to measure resistance and characterize semiconductor devices. These here are the three connectors and so what we have here is the COM connector. This is usually connected to the system ground uh, during voltage measurements and then we have the actual uh, measurement probe which is labeled here voltage uh, resistance or milliamps so this is typically the red one I would definitely recommend that you always use the red one for the actual probe to measure the voltage and the black one you use for the ground connection okay so let's fire this up I made a, a circuit on the Arduino with the Arduino. So I'm using the Arduino here as a 5 volt stabilized power supply and I connected the red rail on the breadboard. I connected uh, to the 5 volts output and the blue rail I connected to ground. So we have two power rails and between the power rails I connected two resistors so they make a voltage divider and more about that in a couple minutes. So let's just uh, measure the voltage now that's coming out of the Arduino as a first step and so for that we switch the multimeter to 20. Um, we should always set the range here to something that's equal or higher than the expected voltage range but no worries there's nothing that can happen if you go to a too small range you just will get an overflow indicator which in this particular instrument is just it will give you a 1. Okay so let's set it to 20. And now we can just uh, hold here the, the COM probe, the, the, it goes to the negative power rail, so I just pointed here to the resistor uh, lead that sticks in the uh, negative power rail and the red one I hold here to the positive one and we see if I do this right then we get about 5 volts, 4.9 and this is entirely normal uh, for the Arduino. Now there is luckily a better way to do this than holding these probes uh, against some flimsy leads. We can uh, screw on these alligator clips that come with this multimeter and then we extend the alligator clips with those uh, breadboard jumper wires. So I connected a black one to the black probe. It's always good to keep these colors consistent. Then it's much less likely to make a mistake and so we connect this one here to the negative power rail and the positive one I use a red jumper wire and we can connect it now to the positive power rail and you see we again get our 4.9 volts on the uh, multimeter. So this here is some nice connection, right? I can wiggle the probes and the measurement remains constant. Another thing that we uh, should absorb here is that it's always a good idea to connect the, the uh, COM probe, the black one, the, the one uh, to the uh, uh, ground rail of your system and then just leave it there and use the red one to probe the voltage in various locations on your circuit. That way you always get the voltage relative to the uh, ground connection 
and that allows you to connect to compare the voltages directly between each others to a relative to a common reference point this is really why there's always a ground in a system one just says okay this one point is ground and we call it zero volts and then all the other voltages in a circuit diagram are given relative to that point so that makes things nice and clear so let's measure in our circuit now the voltage between these two resistors right so i go from the positive power rail through a one kilo ohm resistor into the breadboard and then uh, from the uh, 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 from from that lead I connect the second resistor back into the ground of the breadboard and so let's see what voltage we get there and so I can now just put the connector here between these two resistors uh, into the breadboard and so what we see here is we get 2.45 volts on the multimeter so we see that these two resistors apparently divide the 5 volts into uh, 2.5 volts at their connection point in between and this is of course the reason why this type of circuit is called a voltage divider Okay, now let's do an exciting experiment. You already guessed that uh, we probably got half the voltage between these two resistors because they were the same. And so we can now exchange one of these resistors with a resistor that is 10 times as big. So I have here a 10 kilo ohm resistor and I put that in here. And look what we get. We get about um, one tenth of the voltage now at this uh, connection point 0.45 so you see that the voltage of the voltage divider at the connection point between the two resistors depends on the ratio of the resistances of those two resistors now let's confirm that with a simulation in i circuit and here I whipped it up already. So I connected a five volt power supply to two resistors. And we see here I circuit thinks that a current is flowing and it better does. And we can also measure the voltage here at the output of the voltage divider. This is essentially where I put the red probe here in our experiment. And so you see here we get 2.5 volts, exactly half the voltage. Now, both resistors are the same, 1 kilo ohm here, so let's exchange this one resistor with a 10 kilo ohm resistor and click on the wire again and bingo, we get 0.45 volts, exactly like the multimeter shows us. So the formula for that is the, the, output, vo the output voltage is the input voltage that coming, that's coming out of the power rails times the bottom resistor, this R1, divided by the sum of both resistors, that's R1 plus R2. And so this here defines our output voltage. So we can, for the fun of it, we can now make this one here one kilo ohm again. And this one down here, we can make 10 kilo ohm. And of course, you guessed it, we get now 10% uh, less voltage or something close to 10% less voltage uh, relative to the 5 volt power rail 4.55 volts so 0.45 volts went missing now up here okay now you understand how to measure a voltage and you are now familiar with the concept of a voltage divider it's probably one of the most important um, circuits in electronics a lot of things depend on voltage dividers so it's a really good idea to understand them um, i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, check out the other videos that are on eeawesome.com i'll see you soon thanks for watching